Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, I tell you all the time, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. You guys already know I love to hang out with you guys. I love to vibe out. I have a good time. It's only my hope that you also have a good time while you're visiting me here. Friends, I'm so excited to get to today's reading. Today's my first ever tarot collab, and I'm so excited. Today's reading is a collaboration with Samantha James Tarot. She is another amazing reader here on YouTube. Maybe you guys already follow her. Um, our paths somehow crossed and the circumstances aligned, and we decided to collaborate on this little reading for you. Um, in today's reading, we are going to be getting into your next hookup. So the next time you get down with this person, uh, we are going to be checking in on that. We're going to be seeing what the energy is like, what that's going to be like, but also what's to come. Um, what comes after you guys, you know, you guys have your little encounter. Um, so over in Sam's reading, she does a deep dive. I, I had the privilege of listening to her reading, of previewing it, and I absolutely loved it. She covers everything, everything, not just the hookup. So um, I highly suggest going to check her reading as well, and then put your put the groups together, and you'll have to let me know um, how the story, how the story flows for you. Friends, let's get to it. Three groups to choose from. You know what to do. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be getting a little glimpse into your next hookup, this next person that you are going to be getting down with. Friends, this is a collaboration reading that I'm very excited about. In this part of the reading, we are going to be doing a little energy check and seeing what's going on with you and this person that you're going to be hooking up with. Um, you know, that'll give us an indicator if you already know this person or if it's going to be a brand new person. You know, it's going to be different for everyone, um, but we'll see what comes through. And then we're going to be getting some details of your encounter and what the energy is afterwards. We're going to be seeing is this an ongoing thing or what you can expect after you guys hook up. Um, we're going to be doing initials and oracle cards and let's do charms today. And yeah, we'll do our pendulum as well. That should be fun. And so, like I said, it is a collaborative reading. Um, we are collaborating with Samantha James today and Sam's reading. Um, there's a heavy focus on just the current circumstances between you and this person. And I mean, she really covers everything. I listened to her reading and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. So she definitely gives details of the hookup, what you can expect, um, but there's a lot of surrounding messages. So I can't wait to hear um, after you guys listen to a group here and a group over there, you guys will have to let me know um, how the story unfolds for you and how it resonates. And let's get, let's get to it. My group number ones, you guys know what's up. Um, it is a collective reading on YouTube, so you have to use your discernment. Not everything might resonate for you and that's okay. But if something is triggering you in a bad way um, or you're just not liking the delivery or it's confusing you, those are definitely indicators that the message is not for you. All right, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number one. My group number one, please, Spirit, what can you tell us? What is currently going on with my group number ones and this person that they're gonna be hooking up with? How will my group number ones know that this is their story? How will they know that this is their group? Thank you, Spirit. What's currently going on? What's the energy? What's the energy of my group number ones and this person that they're going to be hooking up with? Messages for my group number ones. What's going on with my group number ones? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's going on with them? What's the energy between them and this person that they're going to be hooking up with? Messages for my group number ones. Lots, oh, oh shit. Okay. Well, this definitely feels like a situation. Someone wants to revisit something. I mean, lots of lust, lots of sex, lots of desire. And it's almost like, I can't wait. Someone, <laughs> I have, I think someone is uh, maybe very uh, sexually frustrated at right now. There's lots of desire between you guys. Oh, yeah. 
it's like we can't be alone this is someone that you can't be alone with for like if you guys are left alone in a room it's like we know what we're doing this could be uh that three of pentacles it could be someone that you work with it could be a friend or there's someone else in the mix this is definitely again this feels like again now if it isn't the same person or a repeat person for you this is you're going about it in the same way that you normally do when you're feeling like this when you're feeling a little um a little ready okay <laughs> my group one <laughs> why the eight of cups in reverse Oh yeah, some someone's like I am ready to I I'm ready for this chapter to be done whether it's the chapter of you're like nope, I've gone long enough without it. It's time. It, it's time. Um or with a specific person where it's like okay, it, it, we're we're done with however long we've been in the current state. I'm ready to do this again or I'm ready to revisit this. All right. Why the 9 of pentacles in reverse and why the ace of wands this is someone that you're on a break from or you haven't seen but when you guys so there's no there's like absolutely no denying the desire here this is an energy of someone that you want so i wonder if my throat was closing or is trying to close because this is something that you haven't admitted or don't want to say out loud or maybe it's someone you're not talking to this could also be someone that you don't see coming um, but either way though whoever this is they get you hot they get you bothered they get you wanting to do some things that are going to have you teeing and giggling and having flashbacks the next day <laughs> listen mm -hmm. some of some of you might think about this person at nighttime. That's coming from your side is what I feel. My group number one. This is someone that you really want. This is someone that things haven't moved forward with or uh, they've been stagnant or we just haven't seen each other. This person works a lot. There's, uh, there's something here. I, I don't think this is someone who things may have felt like they weren't reciprocated with or there was an unequal balance or maybe you're just missing having like a partner right now that that's for those of you that this is a brand new person but for a lot of you this feels like it's a specific person why the five of cups with the emperor yeah no six of pentacles in reverse something's not reciprocated so there was a painful ending here oh there's a reunion oh okay i see where you're going okay so um, let me gather my thoughts because there's a couple of different storylines coming through, which I think we hit on a couple of them. But let's talk to those of you that, okay, so let me get those of you that this is a brand new person. Let me just kind of take care of you guys first because it's the second group that's going to need more of my, more of my attention. Um, for those of you, this is a new person. Like I said, it's like you're going about meeting someone or hooking up with someone or there's someone that you're already kind of lusty over. Um, and that's who is coming through as your next person. This is someone who could be a little older than you. They don't have to be. They are definitely coming in as a very masculine. So this makes me think that their job or their schedule, they're, they're trying to stay on track with what they deem is important or what their priorities are. This could be someone that, um, yeah, this feels like th this could be someone for a lot of you that um, they're either self-employed or they employ others or there's some kind of, I don't know, some kind of network. Um, this person holds back a lot. And that's kind of part, it's almost like, um, I think part of the thing that attracts you to them, it's like that thing where it's like, oh, they're mysterious, you know? And it's like, oh yeah, that's kind of part of the, Part of what's alluring but then there's like more underneath it where there's been something here that's kind of been disappointing about this situation or how this person's been able to show up 
um, and it feels like there needed to be some kind of change. There, there was some kind of ending. Um, the Three of Cups, though, it tells me, it makes me feel like there's a reunion. But for some reason, I also kind of feel like this person might have other people in their energy. Um, so we'll see if that comes through. But that's just kind of, you know, we asked how you would know if this is your group, and these are all indicators. Listen, bitch, it's also an indicator that there's some kind of a reunion happening here. And the Seven of Swords, it's like, be real. You're about to get real. Um, lots of passion. Did I already mention that? Lots of desire, lots of lust, and lots of fantasizing. This is someone that you fantasize about or they fantasize about you. Maybe when you see them, you're like, oh, that, that's the one if it's more of a casual encounter, but this, this doesn't feel like that for the bigger percentage of you. What else, please? Anything else? What's the energy between them? The queen of swords. You want to have some words with them. This person likes how you talk. Oh, you, you want to make them work for it. You're going to be, you're going to tell them you're going to make them work for it. You're going to be honest. You're about to say some truths and you're going to tell them something that they did that doesn't make you happy or that didn't. Maybe you're going to tell them why you blocked them or. Yeah, there's some back and forth that you guys are going to be having with this person. That's what's leading up to this because you guys are not together right now, but someone really wants a new beginning and you're like, okay. All right, fool, you want a new beginning? Well, this is how you have to show up or this is what doesn't, what happened. And this person, the more you do that, I'm not going to lie, the more like they want you. <laughs> um, this person likes your voice or they like how you talk. They like how you move. They like how you express yourself. This person, they don't want to let they they don't want to let on how affected they are by you but literally like their eyeballs like pop out of their sockets at some point okay i see i see reunion for a lot of you either that or you're coming back out i don't know is this your welcome back party to the streets <laughs> I don't know, if, you know, it could be. I'm cheering for you if, if so. <laughs> you know, I'm here for you. Group group one, I'm always on your guys' side. All right, friends. Well, let's see. Let's get some details of your hookup and what that's going to be like. And then we're going to dive into what comes after. So let, let's check in on those vibes. Thank you, sir. Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for my group number ones. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about when they hook up with this person? Thank you, Spirit. What can my group number ones expect when they hook up with this person? What is that going to be like? What can we know? Someone's jumping at an opportunity. Someone is so thankful and so happy. <laughs> Someone is excited. Let me just tell you that. Someone's like, oh, oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh, my gosh. That's just for my group number ones please what can you tell us about their hookup what can you tell us about their hookup thank you spirit oh yeah this sets you guys both you guys are both like at ease it feels like your next encounter is going to um get things flowing i keep getting the message of again you guys might be addressing um, mm. no, you know what this is? Is this a sneaky link? This feels like we're sneaking again. You know what? Someone's going to leave early. Someone's leaving somewhere early. Someone's like, I, oh no, I got to go to bed or, oh no, I got to go home. And maybe this isn't even like, I want to, for some of you, it's like not even on purpose. Like say that you're out somewhere and you're like, oh, you know what? Actually, no, I want to get home. I, I, I need to get home early tonight. Something like that. 
And then that's kind of what aligns to make this happen. But no, others of you, someone is, someone is sneaking off to come and meet you. What's this hookup like? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, that's hilarious. Look, we got the fool and the devil. I normally don't go this far across, but I mean, when it calls for it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And someone's almost like pretending like they don't know. Like they're they like they don't know. Someone could be acting kind of a little aloof. Why is the nine of swords in reverse? What can you tell us? Someone is leaving early. This almost feels like someone's leaving the venue early, work early, the, the family function early. I don't know. That keeps coming through. I'm I'm being shown certain blips of the situation. And all the while, it's like, it's almost like a movie. Like you're doing one thing and make one choice and go one way. And this person does another thing and makes one choice and goes the other way. And then you guys are kind of like this. But it's not saying that it happens by accident, but it, it, it does. It, there's like this essence here of you may not know that things are already at play and this person's already kind of making some kind of moves in the background and you don't know like what's about to happen. I'm actually like surprised that we haven't gotten the tower card, but I don't know. We'll see. Cause it feels a little unexpected from my perspective of things. Why the wheel of fortune in reverse. So this definitely feels like someone is either coming over or like a home. Why the hermit? Yes, because this could be a time. It feels like it's a time when you are, there's different stories going on, but for some of you, this feels like, let's say you decided to stay home, or like I said, you left early. There's a reason for you why you're by yourself. And I can't tell if this person catches wind or what happens. You guys have some kind of sneaky situation going on and that's what's gonna that's how this ends up happening you guys are coming together in secrecy or you're coming together late at night or you're you're just coming together i don't know there's something happening here and all the while you're kind of pretending like like you're just home you're just doing you Yeah, because there's some kind of distance and someone's like thinking and it's like now's our chance. Someone's alone. Why the seven of swords with the queen of pentacles? You guys are both kind of pretending like you wouldn't or you would. There's some like back and forth action. You know what it is? It's because you're like tempted, like you guys are both, it's very seductive, but at the same time, there's things that you want to talk about. Like I'm almost getting like you guys are making out and then you're pulling back and you're trying to get to business. But then that's also you kind of faking the funk a little bit, you know, because <laughs> a part of you obviously just wants to go for it. But another part of you, you're like, no, you're, you're trying to slow down or you're trying to get some words in or you're trying to get something besides just jumping to that because it does feel like there's um there hasn't been much talking but there's going to be a whole there's a lot of like tongue action happening when we go here so that makes me think that you guys are like literally like making out and you're trying to be like whoa whoa whoa, whoa wait a minute wait a minute i gotta make it a little bit more more of a challenge <laughs> why the wheel of fortune in reverse with the eights of wands this person is pretending that they can't be somewhere or they can't do something sorry i can't is what they're saying but they're doing that because they're coming towards you they're heading in your direction this person could have caught in whiff or caught in a glimpse or seen something that indicated that you're going to be alone or you're you have no one else is around there's a sense here where we're alone 
and it may not always happen. And I kind of feel like they see something or there's something here where they're, and that's, they're like, okay, now's my chance. Cause this devil tells me that it's like, it feels a little strategic. So we have Capricorn and Virgo and Aries. And I normally never get that with the devil, but when we're, we want something and when we're lusting after it and when we're, you know, it's like an addict will find a way, right? And the devil signifies addictions at times. So it's like, we will find a way. I will find a way to get there. Yeah, I will find a way to return back to you. So this is them, innocent little you, <laughs> asterisk, not so innocent. You may not be onto it or onto their plans, but they are. This is something they've thought of. They're just waiting. Yeah. Now, we saw how much wand and how much sexual energy there was, like literally flowing through your reading, especially at the beginning. So what you guys end up doing with this person, it's going to be different, but I definitely feel there's going to be some heavy makeout, but more than anything, you're going to want to, um, possibly talk about some things. <laughs> I laugh because as a heavy air sign energy, I get it. <laughs> oh no, I want to talk. All right, friends, let's see. I will want to check in on the energy of after your hookup. What can you expect? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for my group number ones. What is the energy between these two after this next encounter? What can you tell us? What can my group number ones... Did I call you guys group number twos? It's so did I... I don't even know what I said. My group number ones. I didn't mean it. Unless you've been thinking about watching group two. My group number ones. What can they expect after this? Up after this encounter, what's the situation going to be like between them? Maybe I said between these two, and I thought I said two. She's losing it, guys. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's the energy between my group number ones and this person after their hookup? What can they expect? What's the energy after? Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy after? What's going to happen? All right, so let's see. Which way do you want to go? So for some of you, this is like very clearly like you know what it is and you're, you just got what you wanted as well. I feel like you're kind of icing this person out or you're holding some kind of boundaries. If anything, it feels like, yeah, you're closed off from them. And you're not really sure what you want out of the situation. There is a sense of like, almost like relief for some of you, um, where it's like now you kind of, well, I got that out of the way, or now I know what that's like, or, you know, now I said what I wanted to say. It just depends on what your circumstances are and what your situation is. But it feels like you're the one that's pulled back and you're, you're being um, very closed off, but it's like you're protecting yourself, of course, right? Why the seven of cups and why the ace of swords? You come to there, you come to realize something you either you had a conversation with this person and there wasn't like a resolution or you know that there's someone that has other people or there's something that kind of becomes obvious to you. Or maybe you're realizing that dealing with this person, that's what it is for most of you. For most of you, it's that you come to realize that dealing with this person is bringing drama into your life. So that's also why you are okay with we saw each other, we did what we did, and now it's a new day. Now I can turn over a new leaf and start over. Now it's the next phase of this chapter, or now it's a new chapter, you know? Um, again, it just depends. But I do think that some, certain things come to light, and you're not really sure. It's, there's, there's, a very, there's a very clear kind of 
idea or thing that you realize that I think it has to do with drama and this person or just do you want to deal with it? Um, you kind of view this person like I think you view them as being immature or, you know, they hold back. What else? And it's like maybe they leave you questioning like what is it that they do want? And when you catch yourself doing that, you're just like you're closing off even more. I don't see you guys talking or talking too much after. So you're you're fine on your own. Yeah, you you don't want to put focus into this either. So it's like both of you are just independent. And you don't want anything that's going to kind of throw you off track. You it's almost like you're very aware or you're afraid of taking steps back with this person or in your life or feeling stuck. And there's something here that you realize of how this person makes you feel or what they bring to your life or these kinds of situations. <laughs> there's the, there's the tower. Cause this person's like unpredictable with how they move or how they kind of do things. And then they retreat and then they, um, leave you just with all these thoughts, you know? So yeah, I just feel like you're kind of going into protective mode, especially that, that four of pentacles, that four of pentacle energy. Let's see if there's anything else. So we have air signs showing up in this part of the reading. We have Sagittarius as well and earth, Libra, Leo, of course. All right. So yeah, I definitely feel like after you guys hook up, it feels like there's going to be some kind of break. So that happens, but it doesn't feel like it's shocking. It doesn't feel like it feels like you already know this. And that's what becomes clear to you. Messages for my group number ones. What else, please? What can they expect? You don't trust them. Yeah, you don't trust them. So you're like, you're just seeing it for like what it was. And that's why you're staying very guarded. This, uh, if it's a specific person that you've been dealing with, they frustrate you, but you already know this about them. So if you were wondering if after the next time you guys hook up with them, if it was going to be different, it feels like it's more of the same because it doesn't feel like it's a big surprise. Now, for those of you that this is a more casual, you know, person that casual, meaning like you haven't, it's your first time hanging out with them, hook it up with them. Um, then there's going to be some inconsistencies after is what it feels like. All right. Let's see. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's see if there, what you need to know about this person. Thank you, spirit. What does my group number ones need to know about this person? Messages for their highest good. What does my group number ones need to know about this person? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What do they need to know about this person? What do my group number ones need to know about this person? That they're coming back around. That they're about to come back around and repeat some kind of thing. Or someone is about to go back out and repeat what makes them happy, but it might lead to heartbreak or it leads to a disappointment. So this could be you, you know, uh, if you're ready to get back out there and the way you go about it, it might be repeating some kind of past cycle and there's some disappointment after. But there's been silence here. There's been a lot of quiet time. And it's like, it makes you happy, but at the same time, it brings anxiety with it after because there's a lot of unknowns. There's secrecy, there's mystery, or there's space, there's distance that comes with this as well. This person uh, keeps things secret. You know, this person's afraid to be happy. If this is someone that you feel connection with, they're coming back around to spend time with you again or invest in this in the same way. And even though it makes them happy. It just, it feels like they, I don't know, there's a lot of heartbreak that's associated with them. This person has a hard time communicating or they're just someone who's kind of quiet. 
We have Leo and heavy Pisces coming through. Why the three of swords and the moon when it comes to this person? What does my group number ones need to know about this person? They hold themselves back. They're lonely. They might either they ghost or this feels like it's coming from within them. So how it manifests into their shitty behavior. I'm sure it's shitty behavior at some point. But from within themselves, this is their shadow. We're, we're literally, look, we're getting a peek into their shadow. It feels a little uh, intimate, to be honest. But let's be real. There's a lot of suppressed emotion, heartbreak, disappointments, fear, loneliness, depression, self-sabotage, and then it manifests into impulsivity. But they also, I don't know, they, they hold themselves back. When it comes to maybe what makes them happy, this person's afraid to be happy, so it keeps them from new beginnings. All right, so be careful with them, my group number ones. Be careful. All right, friends, let's do initials, charms, and oracles, right? All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for my group number ones. Our next hookup. Thank you, Spirit. Someone could wear sunglasses. That also is like hiding how they feel. We have camera. So pictures, reminiscing, thinking back. We have palm tree. Someone could have pictures of you while on vacation or from somewhere tropical. That's what that makes me feel like. Sunglasses. Seduction, yeah, this is definitely seductive energy. All those wands, all that devil energy. It was getting warm over here. So this person is watching, looking, stalking, you know, stalking could be online, keeping tabs. We did talk about them kind of seeing an opportunity to come back and repeat something with you, especially for those of you that already know who this is. Hooking up, yep. There could be a third party to some degree. Maybe that's the secrecy or just um, could be work or, you know. We have Mo. We also have my OF. Someone could have an OF. ZEO. I think it's Seth. OIHD. And another O. Let me see. What do we have? We have mood. Someone's in the mood. Someone's in the sexy mood. <laughs> we'll put that there. C mood. All right. With follow following. Someone could be like social media follower, or you guys follow each other. You guys are in the mood. I think this is, I'm telling you, it feels like this is someone that you're into. It definitely doesn't seem like it's someone that you're just saying yes to because you, you want to. All right. Thank you, Sid. It feels like there's definitely passion and attraction, all the things. We have the death card, so Scorpio energy coming through. Also transformation, but that also makes me think of like someone wants to finish, you know? Uh, we have Nurse Marge dressed as the Blink-182 nurse. Someone could have lots of tattoos or work in healthcare. There could be um, some kind of identifying feature of their hair, perhaps. We have, um, what is that? The talon? <laughs> the hawk? The claw? Guys, help me out here. With the star, this makes me think of Aquarius energy. This also makes me think like they're going to swoop. They've been circling like a hawk. A hawk in the sky. Um, we have Baychella 18, so someone, something about 2018, Coachella, um, Beyonce, you know, Cowboy Carter, all of the things. Um, we have Hot Sunday, um, work-related or friends could be involved. We did talk about third party a minute ago. And then we have the sun, so happiness. So it's interesting. There's like a, a shadow and light aspect to your hookup. Um, that keeps coming through. This is also uh, Leo energy as well. Um, all right, let's get our pendulum out over here. I almost knocked a bunch of stuff over. 
Uh, all right, friends, you guys can think of a yes or no question and we will get you an answer and then we'll send you on your way. All right, my group number ones. Let's see. This thing always trips me out because even I try to guess where it's going to go and sometimes last minute it gets pulled. You have a maybe. All right, it's a maybe. My group number ones, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please don't forget to go check out Sam's reading over at Samantha James Tarot. Um, yeah, and get even more info on this hookup. Friends, please take care of yourselves. And thank you for joining me. And I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hello, my group number twos. <laughs> if you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we are going to be looking into your next hookup and what you can expect after. This is a collaboration reading with Sam of Samantha James Tarot, which I'm so excited for you guys to check out her reading as well. In this part of the reading, we are going to be doing an energy check-in and seeing what's currently going on between you and this person that you're going to be hooking up with next. So um, that'll kind of give you an indicator if this group is sounding like it's for you or not. And then we're going to be moving into details of your hookup with them and just kind of seeing what the vibes were like, because what we're going to be moving into is what's going to happen after, what you can expect after um, you guys hook up with them. So friends, please keep in mind, it's a collective reading on YouTube. It's super important for you guys to only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. If I happen to trigger you with a delivery or if you're finding the messaging confusing, those are all just signs that it's not your reading. Um, so in Sam's reading, she go, she does a deep dive into this situation, your hookup, what's going to happen. Um, I highly suggest you go check out her reading as well, and then come back. Let me know. Let me know how the stories uh, match up for you and how they resonated. My group number twos, let's begin. Um, I feel like if you like my reading style, you're like you'll like Sam's too because she's um, she's super chill <laughs> as well in her delivery. <laughs> Um, all right, my group number twos, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, what is the energy between my group number twos or what's going on with my group number twos and this person that they are going to be hooking up with next? What can we know? Thank you, Spirit. What can we know? Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. What's the energy? What's going on with my group number twos? How will they know this is their group? What's the energy between them and this person that they're going to be hooking up with? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group. Number twos, please. Messages for my group. Number twos. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy between them? You're not talking to them or you're just kind of keeping to yourself. You're avoiding drama right now. You're just like, eh, you're not really, um, I don't think you're doing too much when it comes to this at this moment. It almost feels like you're just like going with the flow. Yeah, you're working on your dreams or you're looking towards the future. I think you probably had to do some pretty tough. I just heard like cleanup. So that could mean like cutting things out of your life, restructuring in some way. Maybe it's a new, healthier lifestyle or routine. Maybe it's cutting drama out of your life. Maybe it's cutting people out of your life. Um, there's almost a feeling here where you've paid some kind of price for your peace and you're just, you could just be vibing by yourself. It feels like it's by yourself because the queen of swords in reverse, she's not the most approachable. She's not like someone that like you probably have like resting bitch face. I love you. And I know what it's like, you know, but that's how maybe you're viewed and it doesn't have to be. There's nothing wrong with RBF friends. Um, but that's just what it feels like. You're just vibing by yourself. Why the five of wands in reverse? Why the queen of swords in reverse? So you're moving on, moving forward. You're like, fuck that. I can't figure out what that is. It, it, uh, I don't want just like casual or maybe you're viewing someone as being immature. Maybe I think you're 
some of you may also not be viewing love or connections or wanting to deal with someone in such a positive way right now. There's almost a feeling of, I have a bad taste still in my mouth from a past experience. And my throat keeps wanting to like close up a little bit um, when we're even hitting on that. Because it almost feels like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want any, I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to look for better days, look towards better days. And if I can't figure it out, if it feels like drama, I, I'm leaving it behind. If it didn't give me clarity, leaving it behind. If it didn't tell me the truth, leaving it, there's just the feeling here of I'm not fucking with it. I'm not messing with it. It's very, it's, it's taken a lot. It's like you've uh, literally, uh, it, it's like you've had to lower the temperature and go cold on yourself. You know, maybe you had to ice some people out. Um, and it was hard for you, but it's brought you peace. Why the world card? I, is that? Yeah. That didn't feel right when I put it that way. So I feel like you guys are looking towards something else, towards the future. I'm not saying it's easy, you know, I'm not saying you're in the best of mood or you're, you know, um, you're feeling the most positive when it comes to the situation, but there is an energy here of this is what needs to happen so that I can go towards what I truly desire. Because I do feel like you have a wish over here of family and love and in um, relationships or entering a new era, living a uh, life with a with a partner that you can experience these things with, you know, some of you guys like to travel or see the world or go do certain things. Um, and this is what I feel is encouraging you to do whatever it is that you're doing right now. All right. What else, please? What's going on with my group number twos? You guys could be working on your finances or you're clearing your life again of things, people, things that are just uh, taking up space, whether it's in your mind, heart, your spirit, your your home, There, it's time to clear it out. Some of you guys could be like saging your house, um, clearing it out in that way as well, or doing um, maybe some spring cleaning. These are all, and by the way, these are all just little hits on how you might know that this group is for you. All right, so things have been quiet lately. And at times you're like, fuck, I wish I had something going on or I want this, I want that. And other times you're like, bitch, your peace, your peace is worth it. Maybe you dip a little toe into something in the outside world and you're like, nah, she ain't for these streets. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. All right, my group number twos. If this sounds like you, we're not getting indicators of who you're going to be hooking up with next, um, but we are getting indicators of where you are currently at energetically. So if this sounds like you, friends, let's continue because I know you feel like life hasn't been life in or it hasn't been life in in this way, or maybe you feel like your love life hasn't progressed or, um, you know, your sex life has come to a halt. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, friends. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us, please? My group number two's next hookup. What can you tell us? What can they expect the next time that my group number two's hook up with someone? What can, what can we know at this moment in time? The next time my group number two's hook up. What's their next hookup like? What can we know? What can we know? Two of Cups. All right. I saw it. I'll take it. Messages for my group number two is what can we know? So our next hookup, please. What can we know? What can my group number twos expect? Messages for my group number twos. What can they expect the next time they hook up? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the two of cups, we have the judgment in reverse. We have the Eight of Cups. So this feels like the next person that you hook up with, um, 
your your vision or your idea or your realization that you have is like there's something here that you know about what you want for the long term and you are rejecting anything that isn't matching up to the standard of at least potential or isn't someone that feels like even brings the possibility of heading in that direction. So that is coming up as part of the energy of the next hookup that you have. So this almost makes me feel like this person had to pass some kind of test or they had to prove something like they can't just show up is what it feels like. You're not the most approachable, babe. And I love this for you. I love it for us because um, you got to have, I'm not saying have walls, but let's say a fence. Let's call it a digital fence to keep mosquitoes out. They want to come in and suck on your and your super juicy uh, blood that you have, your life, you know? Um, and so maybe you had enough of that or you had people, again, it's like you paid some kind of price and because you walked away from those things, it's no longer allowing you to kind of ignore red flags or ignore things that you did in the past just for the sake of having a relationship or having someone there or this specific person there. So there is this energy here where you're just not, giving in. You are making them prove or you're making them work for it, which is good. All right. So you are getting a lot of attention, babe, um, online or the people are looking at you and I don't know if you realize it or not, but they are, especially those of you that are sharing um, selfies or content or um, something that you're creating. Um, and it's almost like you're, you're oblivious to it to some, to some degree. Um, what can we know about their next hookup? So this person that's coming in, they're nervous or they have some kind of hesitation. They're not sure if you're going to give them a second chance or the time of day. Why the justice in reverse? And why the ten of pentacles? And why the Ace of Swords? Yeah, you're standing your ground. You're standing on business. You're making this person prove that they have changed or that they are, like you're just making them put in the effort. Let's put it that way. Because it feels like you're going to give, if you're going to give them a chance, then you uh, need to have certain like boxes checked off you know, um, I keep seeing you being, being very clear and very firm, especially if this is someone that's trying to return back to your life, they're going to find you changed and they're going to realize that, um, like you, you know, your worth and it's going to be very obvious. You're going to be very open about what doesn't work for you. And even if you're not open to it with your words, you do it with your actions. Like you're not letting this person charm you or sweet talk you how maybe in the past you did, you know, if this is a person that you're, um, that's already someone you've dealt with in the past, then it's like, that's why, because you want them to prove that they have changed the desire, the, the, um, the attraction, the fun stuff. Like, yeah, that's there. That's the easy stuff. It's the other right? And you're just making this person um, prove themselves. And you're saying no, you're literally like you're you're standing your ground, you do have um, a boundary, which is very attractive. And this person, the level they see how you respect yourself or like love yourself, and they find that to be very attractive. They they haven't uh, if they've been dealing with other people or if they, you know, uh, people in the past, it's almost like you show a, a complete like difference from something that they were experiencing before. And they see that they, they see that you carry yourself differently. All right. Thank you, spirit. What can you tell us, please? What can you tell us their next hookup? Thank you, spirit. What can you tell us? My group number two is next hookup. What can we know? 
Yeah, you're going to make this person wait. You're going to make them wait. <laughs> uh huh. And they've been missing you, especially if this is someone that you know. It's like the longer time passes, this person just feels like they're floating further and further away from knowing what's going on with you or, you know, all of that. And you're like, yeah, that's great, but now prove it to me. Did you miss me? Or, you know, what kind of effort are you going to put into this? Is what it's feeling. Mm hmm. So your next hookup is not a hookup. It is a test that you're, you're, that you're, uh, that you're giving. <laughs> Um, so many different words were coming to mind, but we'll just go with giving. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. My group number two's next hookup. This is, uh, if this is someone that you know, this is a, a situation that hasn't, it's had some trouble, like, evolving or getting it to the next stage, or we just haven't been able to let it go. And maybe that's been very confusing as to why does it seem like, this bond is always still there, or we feel this way towards each other. Now, for others of you, this is also talking about, even if it's not a person that you know from the past, this is talking about how um, you've dealt with situations in the past that maybe kept you in a lot of illusion and a lot of fantasy. And again, there's this feeling here where you've done some hard work, you've made some sacrifices, and you're not just about to revert back to who you used to be or how you used to show up in these situations. So you are connecting with this person. That's very obvious. You guys are having a good time. You are feeling it. You know this person is feeling you. You guys are talking a lot about business or you're talking about um, it's not, like maybe it's like news or world affairs. I'm not getting that there's heavy like conversation. Like see, I'm getting that it's more like lighter. I should say. And if they own a business or have things going on, like you guys are talking about that, you're talking about work, what have you been up to? Or it's like you're bonding, you know, but you're also not getting um, swept away or like lost in the sauce. You're going to leave this person kind of, I just heard yearning. They're going to be yearning for you. Um, yeah, because it, it definitely is the energy of not so fast. Not so fast, buddy. All right. We have all signs showing up. Um, I haven't even been calling them. We have definitely fixed signs coming through. Leo, um, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. We also have Sagittarius and Gemini. We have Scorpio again. We have Libra. We have Aquarius again. And then what do we have here? Taurus and Libra, Virgo. All right. Speaking of tests, I feel like I was just tested. I wonder if some of you guys test me. I'm sure you do. I never know who the fuck is watching. Um, but I'm sure people get triggered and other readers watch and probably, you know, compare how we read. It's cool. I love watching how other people read. Um, friends, if we were all the same, it'd be so fucking boring. Anyway, friends, let's see what comes after. After you put this person through the test. Let's see if they passed your, if they passed your Hunger Games. <laughs> Let's see if the odds were in their favor, if the odds were ever in their favor. <laughs> Messages for my group number twos, please. After the hookup, what can they expect? What can my group number twos expect after they hook up with this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What's to come after they hook up with this person? It almost doesn't even feel like a hookup. It feels like a, I don't know, or a connection or a reconnecting, a talking. I don't know. We'll see. Messages for my group number twos, please. What's after the hookup? What happens after they hook up with this person? What can they expect? What can my group number twos expect after they hook up with this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What can they expect? We have the devil in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse. The Seven of Swords in reverse. So it does feel like there's some kind of um, like relief that comes with the situation, like some kind of ease. 
like, okay, I feel better about that. Or it's like, now I realize now, now I get a bigger or a better understanding of what's going on, but I'm not going to lie. Emotionally, it fucks with you because I think you're trying really hard to stay cold and closed off and not give in or, or what you see as giving in, you know? Um, but it feels like the, there's a, definitely a different energy that comes through. We have the lovers in reverse. We have the empress in reverse. Why the queen of cups in reverse? And why the seven of swords in reverse? You're seeing the truth to something. There is some, there is some truth that's revealed. So it is a new beginning. This does lead you to a new beginning, but it fucks with you because you have feelings for this person. And maybe um, we are going to look to see what you need to know about this person in a second. We're going to see how they feel, but something about the romance or the feelings that are stirred up, I'm not going to lie. It, it kind of makes you retreat or it makes you want to go the other way or not be available or it, it is maybe i don't know there's concerns over what this could mean or what they could really offer you it's you know sometimes i call this the femme merge to femme where we're getting swept away the little embers got fanned and the flames are going the smoke is going um why the devil in reverse with the lovers in reverse So this person is showing you behaviors that are different. It's what you were asking for. It's what you're asking for. But now that it's what you're asking for, you're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why are they trying? Why are they actually doing this? <laughs> Group number two, you're having an oh, shit moment. Oh, shit. Listen, I get it. <clears throat> I get it. Why the Empress in reverse with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse? The Star card. Why are you frustrated? Maybe you're sexually frustrated. You are because you're trying to hold back, but it's going to be really hard to. So, you know, you out here playing your own game, not you playing yourself too a little bit. We be doing that though. You do what you got to do though. A, a little sacrifice now for long term long-term goals, right? And this 10 of pentacles tells me that there's a long-term goal here. So maybe you're holding out the sex friends, or maybe you're, you're holding out. And even though you're feeling frustrated, you're like, okay, one day at a time, one day at a time. <laughs> um, so I do feel that you and this person are, um, heading in a new, um, direction. What else, please? What else can we know about the four? You're going with the flow. You're trying to see, like I said, like maybe have them kind of prove themselves. There isn't, there isn't much action. You're just kind of, you're going with it and you're seeing what happens. And all of this stuff that used to be an illusion, all of the stuff that only like lived in your head or that you, you were like, am I imagining it or am I fantasizing it? It's like these things are becoming clearer and clearer. So you're just going with the flow and you're kind of um, along for the ride. This, you know what I just started hearing? It's a small world. If you guys have gotten on that ride, first of all, I feel you. Second of all, I mean, it's cute, but you know, um, you just sit there and you float, you float through the moat and maybe <laughs> not floating through the moat. Someone's floating through the moat. Um, someone, maybe you have a moat around your heart friends or around yourself. You're like, you have to cross this alligator infested moat with piranhas and all kinds of things um, to prove it. And there is movement that's happening. It is going to make you happy, but it is fucking with you. It is because you're questioning it the whole way. And, um, and then it also doesn't help that you're probably like horny for this person. All right. It's not going to be quick because I think that there's something here about schedules or work or family but this person is going to be putting in some kind of effort, okay, to move things further with you. Now, let's see what is it that you need to know about this person or what can we know about this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What is it that they need to know about this person? Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person that my group number twos is going to be hooking up with? 
What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. For some of you, like, you have to know or you already know that this person's, like, genuinely busy. Someone, someone has, like, yeah, someone's kind of busy. Thank you, Spirit. What do they need to know about this person? Messages for my group number twos. What can we know about this person? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> that they're obsessed. Let's see. What do they need to know? Capricorn, Gemini. Mm. That they have other people in their energy. You, you may know this about them. Why the devil? Why the lovers? Why the five of wands? There's a different message. Don't worry, guys. That's not... I think this person... Um, this person did fuck. Yeah, this person did fuck around. But here's the thing. This person is super self-sabotaging. And during this time that you guys have a part. Oh, my gosh. You guys are first the Lulu checkpoint. We're about to do a Lulu checkpoint. Um, the reason that is, is because some of them are obsessed with you. And this is for those of you that already have a connection with this person and you have a bond with them. Like this is someone that you had to do what you had to do in order to either get them to step up or get the fuck out of here. Right. And that could be what's happening that you're, you're waiting to see if that's actually going to happen. So for those of you that that part of the story applies, I do think this person, obviously they don't have a squeaky clean past. This definitely could have been someone who was for the streets or enjoyed attention to some degree. Now, besides that, this separation or this time apart, it's like they're, they're really thinking about it. Like they're a little obsessive and they want to be with you, inside you, on you, wherever you'll kind of let them. Um, they feel extremely like drawn in your direction, like magnet. Um, it does feel super lusty, lots of lust, but they also feel like it's inevitable. They are stopping themselves at this point in time from communicating um, and again, there is some tension here or some conflict, some drama. It could be in their family. But besides that, it almost feels like you guys kind of get off on this conflict because it's leading to makeup sex. That's what this person is thinking of with you, um, especially if they know you've pulled back and gone cold on them. Th this is something that they think about and they think about it a lot. Um, because it's almost like they know it's going to be so good and they're going to be able, I'm going to say unload, literally, that Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm going to be able to let go. Three of Swords, Three of Cups, there could have been other people involved or other factors or um, there's things that they're letting go in regards to that as well. And then we have Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands, like this person has crazy desire for you. So you know, for those of you that this isn't like a soul connection, then what you have to know about this person is that they are for the streets, that there are a lot of other people around, that this is how they get off. This is how they deal with other things in their life. Um, different, I know, but I think that if you know this person and catch the vibe, you'll kind of know where that lands. Um, and even if they're not like super obsessed and in love with you, this person, they will, they want to get, get down with you real badly. They feel, a, I mean, the magnetic pull is crazy. And if, yeah, we have uh, Capricorn and Gemini showing up and then we have the Knight of Wands, this person, they think about sex a lot. All right, anything else that, that my group number twos needs to know about this person? They're watching. Yeah, it feels like new communication. They could also act innocent as well when they text you or DM you or reach out to you. Some of you guys, if this is a new person, you're meeting them online. All right. Well, be careful with that one, friends especially if it's a new person. If it's someone, if it's the devil, you know, then it's the devil, you know, but if it's a new devil, 
then be extra careful. All right, my group number twos. Let's get you guys some messages and let's do initials and charms. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. The next person they hook up with, their next hookup, what can my group number twos know? Thank you, Spirit. Addiction. What did I say? That devil. One more. We have addiction, codependent, obsession has a block. We have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain. That could be you, friends. We have soulmates. That's for those of you that feel a soul connection with this person. We have hammer, rebuilding. You're trying to rebuild. And you're, that's why you want this person to either prove themselves or get the fuck away, please. We have love and acts, breakup, separation. Yeah, so there's love and breakups here. There's soulmate energy. There's all this push and pull to this group. I, I would be very um, curious to know, like, if this is definitely someone you guys already know, because it just kind of feels like there's, there's a lot of intense energy. But who knows? All right, friends. We have... We have Y-O... Oh, we have Yomi. Okay. We have Z O Zoo Y L Light Lighter Zom Zombie. Someone could like horror movies. There's someone who plays video games. We have E C and an A. We have Walter. Literally, it's spelled out Walter. We also have water. What else? We have REC, R E C. All right, let's get you guys some charms. I see EMT. Someone could be an EMT. Let's get one more. Ooh. Someone could be like a uh, film content or <laughs> work at Disney, Walt. Um, all right, we have Sad Girl Sally. Spe speaking of Disney, um, so yeah, this could be how you're feeling. Like you've been betrayed or you've been hurt, and so you have to protect yourself. Um, and for the viewer that pointed out, Sally sings that her and Jack uh, are just meant to be. So maybe you feel like this person and you are meant to be. We have Ha Ha Clown. Um, so someone here is in their ego. Um, Someone here could be afraid to look dumb or to look foolish or feels like they have in the past. We have the onward van. So believing in magic, but also moving things forward. There could also be something about the car someone drives um, that has like a standing uh, standout feature. We have the Wu-Tang Killer Bee. This always makes me think of the Empress. So this is the energy that you're in. Super abundant, super sweet. Um, but also um, holding that standard high. You also have a lot of people buzzing around you, whether you know it or not, there's other people that are interested in you, but you're so just not feeling it right now that it's just, you're just kind of closing it off. All right, we have, I don't believe in humans. That could be how you're feeling. That also gives me Aquarius energy. And then we have Miss Argentina. If I knew then what I knew now, like friends, you are living with so much hindsight that it's almost... Um, it's, it almost freezes you up from moving forward, right? Because you just know all these things. You don't want to repeat the same things. And you're holding strong with that. My group number two is my apologies. I forgot your pendulum. So I'm just going to drop this in right here before we close out your reading. You can think of a yes or no question and we will try to get you an answer. You'll know it's an answer because you'll feel it. Let's see. I always forget I have this little thing, but um, yeah, I've been trying to bring it out. A little bit more for our readings. The anticipation is always high. All right, friends, let's see what you got. You got a maybe. My group number twos, it's a maybe for your question. My group number twos, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated, but more than anything, I hope it's helpful. I'm wishing you guys so much luck. Please take care of yourselves out there, and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. You know why you're here. Today, we have a special little reading lined up for you. We are going to be doing looking into your next hookup. 
We're going to be seeing what the situation is going to be like between you and this person, details of the encounter. And um, yeah, we'll be going into what to expect after, um, what's going to come of this. So we'll see if the situation has potential to, you know, keep going and growing or um, yeah, what you can expect. Friends, this reading is extra special because it is a collaboration with Sam from Samantha James Tarot. I'm very excited about that. Her reading, I mean, it kind of covers everything. Um, it goes into a deep dive of what is going on between you and this person, um, more details of your encounter and a bunch of other information. So make sure to head on over to her channel and check that out. And then let me know, let me know um, how the groups work together and yeah, how it resonates. Friends, my group number threes, let's get to this. You know what's up. I am going to remind you that it is a collective reading on YouTube, friends. So not everything is going to resonate and that's okay. Um, yeah, if something starts to trigger you or confuse you in any kind of way, that's an indicator that it's probably not your story, friends. All right, let's begin. My group number three is we are going to begin by doing a little energy check-in, um, and that'll kind of help you connect to this group and see if that kind of sounds like you. Then we'll be going into all the other, the other stuff. All right, let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number three is What's the energy between them and this person that they're going to be hooking up with? What can you tell us? What's the energy between my group number threes and this person that they're going to be hooking up with? What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes. What's the energy? What's the energy between my group number threes and this person they're going to be hooking up with? What can you tell us? Messages from my group number threes. We have the five of wands in reverse. We have the seven of cups in reverse. So you could have felt like, I don't know, maybe you're going through a phase where like some illusion was shattered and you're viewing things differently. It does seem like there's some kind of disappointment or heartbreak. And now you're just like in this quiet space. You're just kind of trying to figure out what you want or maybe get a grasp on the situation because it does feel like you've come to realize something that maybe you felt like the wool was like pulled over your eyes or there's a lot of silence right now. And in this time you're realizing things, someone here is hurt with that three of swords. There's heartbreak or there's pain between you and this person. Why the five of wands in reverse? Someone's realized something. Someone wants to heal something with you or someone's here to, there's like no drama. I was trying to figure out if that wanted to come out. All right. Why the three of swords? So this is a situation with someone that it's been breaking your heart or disappointing you that there hasn't been any um, effort or a decision made. And someone here is realizing or they realize that they got ghosted or they're lonely or they're missing someone. This could be if you pulled your energy back from someone, this is what they're realizing. They're in three of swords. They're realizing a lot right now during this time. This person could view you as someone who picked something else or chose someone or something else. And they're realizing a lot during this time. Um, there is a sense here where all of these thoughts that we had, what we thought this was, or the illusions, the fantasy, something here was shattered and it made us realize what's not working in this situation. So again, if you may be disengaged or if you gave this person silent treatment, or if you just kind of showed yourself out without really like announcing it or, you know, something like that, it's like they've noticed. Now, if this isn't a specific person, this could just be your process that you're currently going through because you have been disappointed in the past so much and you're realizing what wasn't working in the past in your love life. And now you're trying to kind of figure out what it is that you want. This does seem like there's anxiety or stress in the energy um, leading up to this hookup or whoever this is with. And there's a lot of indecision. There's a feeling here that you know you're going to be getting together or you know you're going to be uniting or reuniting or meeting up, but leading up to it, there is a lot of nervousness and there's a lot of stalemate energy. Someone here is 
disappointed is kind of a small way to put it of how they're feeling because they're on the outskirts. This does feel for some of you, it's um, you're being open to a second chance. That doesn't mean a second chance with a person. That just means for some of you, it's a second chance at giving dating or, or love or giving this another go. And it's like, maybe your intuition's like, I'll know when it's right, or I know it's coming. Now for others of you, then this is your intuition telling you that you are going to eventually reunite with this person, but maybe there's a lot of anxiety leading up to it of should I, shouldn't I, or what does it mean? Or, you know, uh, something like that. There's just a feeling here where it's been stalemate for a while between you and them, or just with you. Um, you could be spending a lot of time at home or focused. Someone here could have just gotten promoted or there's something um, elevating in their life as well. Why the five of wands in reverse with the four of wands? You guys could even be going through a spiritual like um, elevating. You guys could have cut off certain people. You could have cut, cut off uh, surface level connections, including friendships. Um, you could have walked away from things that were emotionally unfulfilling or weren't giving you the love or the care that you deserve. Just, you know, I, it almost feels like a deeply like transformative time for you. And this is like, like what's to come, you know, and there's a lot of reflecting here because I feel like you've learned a lot or you've sat in silence for so long or you've meditated, you've, you've had all these downloads, you know, and it's like, you know, when something's good for you and when something's not good for you. And there's something about the situation that might be kind of writing that line where you're, you're not sure you, you want this, you want this person, you, you want this, but at the same time, there is some back and forth action. So things have been high and low with whoever this is. So maybe touch and go, perhaps. Why the three of swords with the two of wands in reverse? What can you tell us? What's the energy between my group number threes and this person they're going to be hooking up with next? Someone's been ignoring or rejected. Someone feels rejected. Someone's been um, ignoring this. You could be ignoring them. If you are ignoring them, that's what's pushing this. This person is sitting in misery, I'm going to say. It feels very uncomfortable. A matter of fact, I <laughs> I just uh I realized this the really really tight uh tightness that I'm getting in my like chest as I'm going over this energy. Um so someone's like very the longer they sit, the more they're kind of feeling this. And they don't like it. They 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 don't like it. They they uh, it's this energy of they're up late at night thinking about it, or they worry about it when they you know they, I'm not saying they think about you 24 seven, but when they think about this, it definitely triggers not the best feelings. And there's a feeling of should I shouldn't I? Why the hanged man in reverse with the five of pentacles? One more, please. Yeah, someone's lonely. Someone realized that they were being passive and that they weren't putting in the effort and that something wasn't reciprocated. And because of that, there had to be a tower moment. So there was a tower moment that created a 10. Look, at it created all these swords. I fucking love how the swords look in this deck. Um, they're just so like staggering when they're in like black and white, but look what that caused that caused a lot of anxiety that caused them feeling stuck. So someone here had a painful ending that they're feeling stuck. Um, especially if this is this person, if you kind of surprise them and disengaged, backed away, there is a realization here. There is an, Oh shit moment. Oh shit. How do I, how do I do this? How do I, how do I get back? Now, if it's not that with a specific person that you disengaged from, then maybe these are anxious feelings that are being triggered within you because of a past heartbreak. Maybe this is stuff you've been suppressing and not really like dealing with. And now that the reality is here, it's like, oh my gosh, the thought of it is definitely different than the reality of it, right? Because it definitely feels like you're going to have this opportunity, but you're unsure of whether or not you want to go for it. 
they're not giving me too much about who this is other than there's some kind of stress. There's some kind of ending. There's a lot of realization. Someone's been realizing some shit leading up to this that they didn't think about or they didn't see it that way before this tower, before these swords happened. Someone here didn't realize. And now, now they do. Anything else? What can we know? Who is this? What can we know about them? Who is this person? What can we know about them? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes. Nine of Cups in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands in reverse. It's the one that you could have given up on or you surrendered. You maybe thought that they couldn't give you what you wanted or you could get what you want. That's the one that wants to return. Someone here, um, that hierophant in reverse. Uh, there could be something about like commitment or breaking away from commitment. Someone here could have been married in the past or someone could be a Taurus. Definitely Taurus vibes with that Queen of Pentacles and that hierophant. Four of Swords returning back. But this is the one that you feel may not be able to give you the commitment that you would want. So that's also, yeah, it keeps talking about return. So for some of you, it is a return, okay? Someone here wants to heal something. They want to bring you some kind of offer, some kind of peace offering. Someone here doesn't like how this feels. And they're getting ready to do something about it. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. <laughs> Bitches, let's see. What's the hookup going to be like? You just never know. Messages for my group number three, please. What can they expect from their hookup with this person? What's their hookup with this person going to be like? What can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What's their hookup going to be like? What can they expect? Thank you, Spirit. What can we know about when they have their encounter? You can call it the encounter <laughs> with this person. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes, please. What can you tell us? What's their hookup going to be like? What can we know? Messages for my group number threes, please. What's their hookup going to be like? What can we know? Yeah, someone's waiting. Someone can't say no anymore. Someone can't hold back. Someone's been holding back and they see an opportunity and they have to go for it. Yeah, they don't want to let them pass. They're, they're coming back. I can't, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But if it's for you, then you, you already know I'm talking to you. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What's, what can we know about their hookup? This could even be talking about coming back to your place. Like, I, I don't want the night to end or I don't want this to end, especially if this is a new person. Um, this is almost like, no, I, I want to continue this or, uh, you know, they see a window of opportunity and they're like, hey, how about we go back to and then fill in the blank. It could be your place or their place. And at this point, you don't want it to end either. So you're like, OK, <laughs> you're like, yeah, well, let's do that. Now, if this is someone that, you know, then both of you can't let this go. And you guys are both like. Yeah, down to revisit some things. We have Scorpio and Leo coming through. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Messages for my group number threes. What's their hookup going to be like? What can we know about when they have this encounter with this person? Yeah, this person's going to take up the chance to get you close, to figure out what is going on with you because they don't feel like you guys are on the same page or you don't. they don't feel like you guys are vibing. Someone here, they want to come in and do something about that. Because there's been distance between you guys or nothing has really happened. This could also be you still unsure. Or, you know, you're like, well, I waited this long. What's waiting a little bit longer? Why the Eight of Cups, please? In reverse. Why the Death card? 
and why the nine of swords in reverse okay this this one doesn't go like this this one goes like this and this one goes like this and we're going to go ahead and do that all right so here's what i'm seeing um i'm seeing that it's been a while and someone's been thinking about this uh, i'm going to address those of you that this is a person that you already know because it feels like you guys have really been missing each other and it hasn't been going away it's only been kind of getting to be the bigger thing it's not the feeling isn't growing smaller it's only growing bigger or it's growing louder or it's growing heavier you guys are going to have a reconciliation with this person you guys miss each other and i'm going to go ahead and say it this is feeling like soulmate energy now don't take that if that's not for you if this is for those of you that already know who this is um this feels like you are going to have a passionate night this person is going to Oh, they're going to sweep you off your feet. They're going to get you so love drunk. They might even get you like sex drunk, right? That to me means you're so disoriented after the event. You don't know what day of the week it is, perhaps. Um, and that's not to mean like, I know sometimes people that listen to tarot, they take what I say like quite literal. So I'm not meaning that in a way that they're going to like drop something in your drink i'm not saying that at all because i know that the words that i used could um, be interpreted that way no i'm just saying that the whole thing is going to be the energy is going to be pretty intoxicating it's going to be alluring it's going to be seductive it's going to be very very sexy and it's going to be very hard to deny especially when i think you guys are more than ready with this ace of cups the juices are flowing the things are feeling good Things are slipping and sliding, perhaps, and we really are vibing. Now, those of you that already know this person, um, this is a bond that it's just there. You know, whether or not, wherever you guys are at in your journey, this is the energy of we've known each other before. We've done this before, even if you never have in this life. This is someone that feels very familiar. This is also someone that you guys can relate on a very almost like magical level, which is almost like with child, I just heard childlike wonder. Um, maybe it is something like that where you guys do have similarities. Um, there's a lot of, I'm going to say like pulling at the heartstrings that's going on in this connection. This person is going to be very romantic, but they're coming in romantic for a reason because they want to seduce you. They want that. And I think you want that too. You guys are definitely going to be having sex with this person. At least the majority of you will. If you don't, let's just say you're definitely going to have some kind of time that feels very good. And when you go home, you're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be thinking about it when you're alone. Okay. Because <laughs> um, that's how alluring it feels. We'd have, um, I, I look, notice how I'm focusing so much on this. Um, and listen, if I see a double in, the, in this kind of reading, this is what I want to see it surrounded by. Because that devil, like imagine the devil has all these little daisies and flowers and butterflies around it. And it might have that grampy little look on his face, but he's still got all this sweetness on him because that's what this is. It's just coming through as devil because it's very, uh, it's very, very sexy. It's very seductive, but it's also, um, there's a sense of, a, I can't tell if it's um, a little bit of possessiveness or... Um, Honestly, it's just real, like, down to fuck energy. Like, let's be real. For those of you that know, and you fucking know, okay, um, it does feel hot and sweet and sticky. Oh, okay. Help your girl get out of here. Let, let's go over here. I almost can't even focus. Hold on. <laughs> Let me do that. Um, listen, Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups. Someone is jumping at the opportunity. Um you need a little bit of a warming up and i don't mean that just sexually i mean that there's certain things that um you need to be comfortable with especially if this is a specific person there's things that we need to clear up or talk about or you uh need to show me it's like this person knows that they need to show up in a certain way and trust i firmly believe that they are going to be showing up in that way in the panty dropper way okay they're like it's been way too long this person's been thinking about you um, you guys could have been at a distance or it's just been a long time or a few months since you guys have talked or seen each other or, or maybe even had an encounter like this. So if this is someone that you guys were kind of are in separation from, I definitely see 
sexual reunion. Okay. I see a reconciliation big time. Now let's talk to those of you that this is a brand new person, okay? This is someone who's going to be very seductive, very, very seductive, very alluring. This might be someone who works really hard. They could be a Capricorn, but there's someone whose sexuality is uh, either going to be very like pouring out of them. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, it almost like oozes. Um, where it's like very obvious that they are into you and they're almost, I almost feel like their eyes like locking in on you. Like how you guys, let's, you want to make eye contact with that? How, how do you say no to that? You know, listen, if you can, I got to give it to you. But this energy that I'm sitting in, I mean, tell me what you want me to do, Zaddy, because I'll probably do it. All right, let's go back over here. <laughs> Because if this is a brand new person, then this is like your welcome party, bitch. You're like, then welcome back. Let me, hold on. Let me get you a little banner and unroll it for you and just sit here and cheer you on because this feels like it's going to be a pretty magical welcome back to, um, you know, getting down with somebody. This doesn't feel like it's casual, you know, so I have a hard time not a hard time wrapping my head around if it's new. I'm just saying I'm not giving it that much attention because the majority of the energy that I feel, it feels like there's something already kind of established or there's something that's been happening up until now. It doesn't feel like you're just about to meet them. And then, um, if you know, this happens right away, basically like, Hey, um, let's go out. You know, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like you, you feel some deep connection to them and it feels like it's been a little while. Um, this doesn't mean it's someone that you have history with. This could be someone that just things never happened with. You never went out with them and they're, um, entering back into your life and starting new. Whoever this is, it's a new beginning, whether it's a new beginning and a new chapter with the same person or different person, it's going to be different for everybody. All right. What else can we know about this hookup, please? What else can we know? You guys are going to talk. There's conversations here about you're going to let them know how you feel or something that you went through, or I don't know. It feels like you're kind of talking to them about how you feel with certain things or your queen of cups in reverse. So I don't know if you're, I don't, I don't know if you're, some of you guys could be water signs. Let me see why you're why you're feeling that way. One more, please. Because you're not sure if they can give you the commitment or if they can give you what it is that you want from them. And this is why you may be disengaged from them. So there's an unexpected turn in this situation. This person is having you revisit that in more than one way. So um, physically, mentally, spiritually, perhaps. Okay. So this does feel like it's a new phase. It's about to be a new era in a chapter that has not been able to go anywhere. Or there's been like a, a failure to launch or we just, yeah, it hasn't taken off. There's been a delay. Okay. Well, let's say bye to your boyfriend over here. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. Thank you, spirit. So that's a little bit of the vibe that is going on um, during your encounter and your hookup. So there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of romancing. This person is really um, working, working what they got. All right. Messages for my group number three. Now, now, friends, let's see what's after. Let's see after you guys have this encounter with this person. Um, what's the vibe? What's it going to be like? What can you expect? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What can my group number threes expect after this hookup? After my group number threes hook up with this person, what can they expect? What's to come in this situation? What can we know at this moment in time? Messages for my group number threes. What's next? What's next after the hookup? What's to come in this situation? We have the seven of wands in reverse. We have the emperor. What's to come after they hook up? What's 
what can they expect? You guys are on better terms. Yeah, you guys are, you're not defensive towards them. <laughs> you're teeing, bitch. You're like, tee. <laughs> you're like, wow, <laughs> I just needed to come <laughs> by someone else. <laughs> friends, we're all friends here. It's okay. It's just between me and you and uh, however many views this video has. All right. We have the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the Lovers. Messages for my group number three is what happens after their hookup? What can they expect? What's the vibe? What's after the hookup? Thank you. You guys are going to um, take it slow and you're getting to know each other. You're also expanding in some way. And I also feel like this person's making more of an effort. This person doesn't want to fuck up, um, especially for those of you that they feel like they're on thin ice or you are someone who it's very obvious that you're not going to put up with their shit. Now, this almost feels like it's like the group that's like not fucking around and this person knows you're not fucking around. I'm not saying that any of the other ones are, you know, but there's something here that this person isn't trying to toy with. They're not trying to um, ruin their chances because it almost feels like they're trying to feel this out as well. Why the seven of wands in reverse? What's after their hookup? What can they expect? Yeah, it's a new beginning. You guys are turning over a new leaf. This person's going to be around more. Now, I will say, I was going to say a little bit more. And the reason I say a little bit more is because I do feel like they have things going on that um, keep them busy, but they are more focused on what's going on with you. They want to move things ahead with you. They're going to make this known to you. They're giving air sign vibes with a fire side. And if they have a dash of water, I would think it's Scorpio. Maybe some pi some hidden deep Pisces placement. I don't know. Maybe they're a little Neptunian as well. A little unpredictable, a little dreamy, a little hazy. There's something about their eyes. Someone could have like dreamy eyes or bedroom eyes, hazy eyes. That could be you as well. Someone definitely has like scorpionic eyes. You guys, that devil was staring at me. I swear to God, I was like making eye contact with your person. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling funny. So when this person locks eyes with you, you might be feeling funny in a good way. Feeling funny in certain areas. <laughs> Why the five of pentacles in reverse? All right, well, you guys are going to be taking it slow. It does feel like there is some kind of, let's say it's an understanding. We're not single, but we're not necessarily together together. But it is a starting point and it is a stepping stone. And you guys are getting to know each other. And it feels like during this phase of getting to know each other, uh, you guys are taking on the mentality of, just one person at a time. Like, I don't think you guys are dating around. It feels like both of you, if you're going to put focus on a relationship or on, it's going to be this. That's the other thing that I kind of felt when I was going into this group feels like they're not fucking around or they're serious. It's like this relationship or this connection feels like it could be serious. Um, maybe you guys are, you know, your age and stage. It's like, maybe you guys have kids or you've already um, had, you know, certain things in your life. And now that's changed your views on what you need now and what you want. It's like, there's been some level of growth that you need to kind of this person to match you in. And then they also need someone that matches like kind of their lifestyle or that can blend in or fit in or, you know, it's, it's like two adults trying to make it work. When we really think about it, it's it's a lot. <laughs> so it feels like you guys are going to be taking um, your time. You're going to be moving slowly. It does feel like you're letting this person take more of like initiative, which is good. Messages for my group number threes. What about after the hookup? What can they expect? What's to come after they hook up with this person? Yeah, you guys are going to be in a place you're happier because all of these thoughts, all of this ruminating, you guys are healing. You know, there's this painful ending that maybe you had to revisit and it had to take some time or maybe you made some kind of sacrifice. You you uh you guys made it out through whatever block that was or whatever time frame or whatever didn't work in the past. It feels like now you're on like, this is going to be 
uh, something that like grows, it, I'm going to say it has the potential to grow into a relationship. So this person comes back like mature and serious. That's just for my group number threes, please. What else after their hookup? Oh yeah, this person likes you. This person likes you. This person thinks about you. You guys don't see this person very often, but it works for you guys. Meaning, I don't think you're going to be attached at the hip and with them 24-7. Yeah. So you guys will be figuring that out as you go. But I definitely feel like this is the beginning of dating. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this what it looks like when people start dating like this? <laughs> Y'all will have to let me know. Okay, soulmates. Okay, future spouses. Okay, invite me to the wedding. Mm-hmm. You guys are cute. Maybe the story hasn't been cute, but you guys will be cute with this person. We have Aquarius, Leo. We have all the signs. Cancer, Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Aries again, yo mama. All right, let's go, friends. Let's get your guys's. Oh, I guess we're done with the tarot. Oh, no, wait, hold on. We are not done with tarot because we are going to ask a little question. We're going to sneak this in here and see what is it that you need to know about this person? What are a couple things that would be good for you to know about this person? What is it that you need to know about them? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What do they need to know about this person that they are going to be involved with? <laughs> this doesn't feel like just a hookup. This feels like you, you're going into some kind of involvement. <laughs> Messages for my group number threes, please. What can you tell us? What is something that they need to know about this person? What do they need to know about this person that they're going to be involved with? What do they need to know about this person? This person, um, well, they look good, but you already know that. This person wants to be successful. This person doesn't make a move until they feel it's it's their best, almost the, the best case or like the best chances at winning, the best chances of succeeding. So this is someone that's definitely waiting for the right time. There's something here about timing as well. Uh, in general, I mean, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. This is something that they need to know about this person. It's a matter of time before they return back to you. It's you that they want. They haven't told you this. They haven't made it clear. And that's why you've maybe turned away. Why the Six of Wands? What's something that they need to know about this person? They, th this person doesn't care to move slow because again, they're someone who really wants to ensure their success in everything that they do. This person wants to wait to come towards you when they clear other things in their life. There's some drama, there's some conflict, there's things that they don't want to bring to you. They don't, I just heard they don't want to come dirty your, your place, you know, they don't, they, they don't want to bring that or there's some things that they want to clear up. And they also want to clear this up with you, whatever this is, especially for those of you that there is some kind of con conflict between you or something like that. For some, it's within three months. They've been thinking about this. They think about it. They are waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. They know that they need to have a conversation with you. They love how you talk. They love how you think. They love how passionate you are. King of Swords in Reverse but they're holding back. This person holds back. You intimidate them because of how intelligent you are or how you speak or how wild you get or how you pop off for some of you. <laughs> Why the King of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Swords in reverse? Why do they need to know about this person? This person struggles with their mental health. They struggle with anxiety and that's what holds them back. This person has a very hard time um, going after the things that they want, especially when it comes to you, when it comes to love. They have no problem going after the material world, but this person's got a big old wand up for you. We'll leave it like that, okay? There could be a slight age difference. It doesn't have to be, but I'm going to say it again. It does feel like this is our soulmate and our, a soulmate group. It doesn't mean the others aren't, but it's very strong here. All right. Strong connection. Anything else? All right. Oh, this person wants some things from you. With you. 
in you, all kinds of things. I don't know. I'm just here reading my little cards, friends. Let's get you guys some oracle cards. We're going to do oracles, initials, charms, and pendulum. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. This person that they're going to be hooking up with, what can we know? What can my group number threes know? Thank you, Spirit. Camera, they look at pictures of you. They're thinking of you. They're thinking back. There's a lot of thinking. We have Cupid's arrow. Someone fell in love. Someone's having realization. Someone loves kissing you. They like making out with you. We have ascending. This relationship is going to be ascending. It's also going to help you with your growth as well. It's going to help you break through some things that you're still kind of residually holding on to from past experiences. That's normal. It's not anything that there's no such thing as 100% healed. And there's also, in my opinion, no such thing as needing to be healed before being in a relationship. Um, especially if you have awareness of what those things are. And sometimes we need to be back in these environments and experiences and um, as different as they are, you know, um, those triggers that happen, they're showing us where we still have like certain things, you know, they're like popping off. And that mo that's what might be happening to some degree here is that you, you this is triggering. Um, so this is the kind of connection that is meant to trigger both of you. I mean, you guys already know what's up. I don't use the, the terminology um, TF too often, twin flame, but if you guys do believe in twin flames, you know, this could definitely be it. It's not that I don't believe in twin flames. I actually do. I just feel like they're so rare and we just overuse that term so much. And then we make up excuses for certain behaviors and, and uh, patterns that then are difficult to break out of. So just keep that in mind. It's not that I don't want to use that term, but I used it more as a validating thing for you than me going into it and identifying it as that kind of connection for you. Um, but all that to say is there is a strong spiritual connection here, whether it's twin flame, soulmate. Um, yeah, I don't know. Love of your life. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Let's get you guys some initials. Um, so love call. Someone could be thinking of messaging you. Someone's thinking of you and they want to let you know that they're thinking of you someone's falling in love. There's definitely a lot about falling in love. Someone loves how you kiss. Someone could fall in love with you after the first kiss. Um, we have man. This is a man, manly man. Not for all of you. Look, we have woman too. And I'm sure if we worked enough, we could figure out, we could make the word um, they. <laughs> so don't, it doesn't have to be gendered, my friends. We're just pointing out what's here. All right. Um, we have VX Vixen. Someone might look like a, vex a Vixen. We have CZ and B. FRB. R&B. Someone might um, uh, pull out their R&B playlist to seduce you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Messages for my group number three. You guys, you, it's like I'd be so easy to kidnap. <laughs> it's like the right playlist some tacos and like snacks, you open up the van and tell me they're there. I'm going to be like, where, where do I sit down? All right. We have, I'm your puppet. Oh, you guys, um, this person that I, I feel like they feel their strings being pulled by you. This is someone that in separation or in this time where you're not really around or attainable, um, they still feel drawn to you. This person might feel like they're your puppet. This person's really falling for you is what it sounds like. Um, we have Biggie wearing his crown. So it makes me think of Brooklyn. Um, maybe someone here is very good at what they do. They're a king or someone's a king. Um, Biggie was also a Gemini. So someone could be a Gemini. I think he was a cusper, a Taurus Gemini cusper. I'm not sure though. All right. We have the moth with the dagger. So there has been pain here. There's a lot of intensity. There's a lot of passion, but there's also a lot of growth. And this person is like a moth and you're the flame. This person can't stay away. They just feel so drawn to you. Um, again, this one has eyes. I said again, because I'm like eyes again. Um, there's something about the eyes. There's, and then there's another eye here. Um, so the West Side Hamza, maybe someone spiritual, but also a little gangster. We did have Biggie come through. Then we have Nasty. Someone wants to get nasty with you. It's also a Prince song. That makes me... I, I don't know why I started thinking of diamonds and pearls, which is so random. Um, but maybe this person, they're going to try to 
seduce you with diamonds and pearls. I don't know. Then we have Rosalia wearing the mask. So we could have been hiding our emotions here or hiding something, um, hiding in plain sight even. This person, they don't want to show their emotions. Let's leave the mask on. Then we have the sad woman crying face. That could be some a way that you've been feeling or emotions are triggered. It's a little overwhelming. It does feel like it's a little overwhelming just because it feels like it's the start of like possibly big love, you know? Um, then we have Prince. Yeah, we did have Prince coming through. So doves cry. I already said diamonds and pearls. I always think of purple rain. Maybe someone here really likes Prince. Prince was so fucking smart. We lost a good one with him. All the advice that he'd give his homies, you know, about like owning their masters and trying to school them on like um, all, all of the stuff about their contracts. Maybe someone here is someone that kind of does that for their people or their community or they look out for others. Someone here could be very artistic or like sticks out because of what they do. Also the way they dress. All right, friends, let's get our pendulum out. Let's move these over because the pendulum be swinging. Pendulum be pendulum in. <laughs> All right, um, friends, feel free to ask a yes or no question and we'll try to get you an answer. This thing, I'm telling you, it really, um, the anticipation that builds up while this, it's trying to figure out. So let's see what answer you get to your question, my friends. Oh, you got a definitely. Don't you love how it does that? I can never guess where it's going to land. You got definitely, friends. So that is a yes. My group number threes, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Um, and please don't forget to head on over to Samantha James Tarot and check out the, I was going to say the rest of the reading, the other part of the reading. Um, yeah, you guys, <laughs> there's definitely a lot to go over. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this collaboration. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys.